I know it doesn't look very appetizing, but it's good for you. Okay, this is gonna be noisy, but watch the color change. It's fascinating. Actually, let me do uh So I didn't do it for the whole 45 seconds or whatever, but can you see that foam on there? It's almost like an espresso. Look at that, it's fascinating. So this is a bulletproof coffee and there's all kinds of recipes out there. All I do is I take black coffee and I put um, butter in it. I, I, I weigh it out, I think it's 14 grams of butter, which is like a tablespoon. And if you have a couple of these a day, wow, you just bump up your fat intake. Obviously, it's butter, but you bump up. Even though this is not a good picture, <laughs> but this is the pure Irish butter that I put in my bullet coffee. And um, something I discovered that I was slowly creeping up in the carbs with all of those uh, carb-friendly, carb-friendly, uh, you know, like cookies and stuff like that. So I've cut back on that. I've increased my fat put in some bulletproof coffees. Now I'm at back up to like 75% um, bot, uh, fat intake and I'm back on the weight losing um, schedule again. And as a side note, I got new glasses. <laughs> and behind me you can see what well, ate the dog and then also some water. I'm gonna go talk about the water real quick. Okay, so um, I usually do not get plastic bottles, but I got these to take on on the go, and I and I and it bothers me so bad because I did get my mistake. Um, this glass carbonated Mexican mineral water. It was kind of expensive. Not doing that again, um, but it's actually very good. Uh, one of the ones that um, uh, that's recommended by a couple of different YouTube channels. I think it's Diane Parnum and a couple other people. This Mountain Valley spring water. This is uncarbonated, but when you look on the back here, um, there you go, boom. Uh, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. So it's got quite a bit of uh, minerals in it, which you need when you're in doing the uh, ketosis. So I don't know if I'm showed, but I, I usually take one of the, well, I'll take uh, San Paragino and I'll put a little bit of lemon juice. I mean, I'm talking like quarter, quarter teaspoon um, and a, a couple of drops of stevia. That way it doesn't take me out of ketosis. So, and I'll drink it throughout the day and maybe I'll add a little bit more lemon juice. Then that's that volcanic stuff that I got from Dr. Berg. Good stuff. All right, so this is a recap. The bullet coffees uh, are a good way to increase your fat intake um, because butter, just like cheese, is pretty much all fat. And if you, you know, having a hard time reaching that 70% mark or more um, for your uh, macros, for your daily intake of fat, it's a good way to um, bump it up. Uh, so yes, I was having a little bit of a problem. I was kind of stalled in my fat loss or my weight loss. Um, I'm working out and just stuck. So I cut back on some of the keto goodies. I mean, they are good, don't get me wrong, but they, they each one has a little bit of carb in it. And so if you have like, let's say you had like three or four of those keto cookies and then you had like keto pancakes and then maybe something else, maybe some um, even like, like the super green drink that I drank, it's uh, powderized and it's super greens, you know? That has a lot of carbohydrates in it. And then I put cacao powder in it and that has a lot of carbohydrates in it. And before you know it, you're at like 60 carbohydrate, carbohydrates or grams of carbohydrates um, for your daily intake. And really, for the true ketogenic diabetic diet, it needs to be um, 20 grams or, or, or less. So I've uh, got back into that and now I believe I'm starting to lose weight. So I'll know tomorrow if it's a continuation. Of course, we do fluctuate in uh, body, body weight, whether it's water retention um, and, and other things going on in your, in your system. But I was pretty irritated. I'd reached this 
blockage. I just couldn't get past this certain body weight, and now I did. 